recreate natural light from a window in a studio. That's what we're going to be looking at in this video. We're going to be taking this scene that I've set up in the living room in front of the French windows. I've took this shot. I'm going to replicate that shot, light by light, shadow by shadow, in this box with no windows using studio strobes. Window light is the most beautiful light in the world and preferred by many photographers and used by many food photographers also. But what if the weather changes and obviously you kind of get a consistent look to your images and you need to recreate natural looking light using studio strobes. Well, that's what we're gonna do in this video. This is the shot that I've took using the window light coming in from the French windows in the living room. I've set that up and I've recreated that whole scene in the studio and I'm gonna recreate that exact same shot using studio strobes. I'm gonna show you how easy it is. I'm gonna talk you through some of the elements that you need to focus on to really kind of hone your skills in when you're lighting. Now this is a great exercise for everybody to try out. You haven't got to set this specific scene up, just set a glass of water up on a table, photograph that using natural window light, and then just try and recreate that in the studio using your strobes. And before you know it, you'll have a lot of knowledge and understanding of how things work and how light works. So obviously a couple of elements that we've got to take into account when we're trying to we create a natural looking uh, shot like this is obviously the position of the sun in the sky and the size of it. Are there any clouds there? Is it diffuse light? Is it direct light? Well, obviously, as you can see from the behind the scenes footage chat, the skies were pretty much clear. The sun was just in the sky, so it's a nice ball of light in the sky. Obviously, we'll kind of get the light as far away as the sun absolutely impossible but we can recreate the size of it in the studio and that's exactly what we're going to do um, now to get the position of the light falling exactly how it is in that scene really we just need to focus on the shadows the shadows are key they're going to show you the position of your light the height and the angle and that's going to show you exactly where that light is in the sky and if we just focus on those shadows that'll tell us straight away whether in the, we're in the ballpark and it's just a couple of little shifts about with the light to, uh, to make a little bit of a difference to the, those shadows and where they are falling so the lights we're going to be using we're going to use them in the pix pro city 600 and we've got that fitted with an optical snoot and we're doing that because we really need a small point light source because the sun in the sky, when I put my fingers up, was about that big. So this will recreate that just nice. So we just need to position the light to make sure that the shadows are going to be falling correctly. Now, as you can see from the behind the scenes also, you have to take into account of what is surrounding that scene. Now, obviously, I've got white ceilings, and there's another window at the end of the living room, which is obviously going to be acting as a fill light. So we need to take that into account. So which I have, so I'm using the City 300 Pro and I'm just going to use that bare bulb and that's going to be firing off the white wall at the back and that's going to be acting as a tiny bit of fill to the scene. So you could probably get away with just using one light and having a big cord there and be bouncing some of this light back in but I'm just going to kind of give that a bit of an overall global fill to this image and you can see how effective that is. Now this is a bit of a DIY setup here to try and recreate the shadows cast from the French windows with the Victorian bars in because um, I want to try and recreate the image as it is in that natural window shot. So what we'll do is I'll take a shot with the City 600 and I'll show you exactly what that's going to create because after I've took that shot, you'll probably think, well, that's it. That's one light done. Um, but there's a couple of other things to take into account. And from this setup, you can then figure out, well, if I want a diffuse light, if I want softer shadows, how do I do that? It really is a great exercise. And like I said, I would urge everybody to give this a go. So we'll uh, make sure I'll switch off the 300 Pro. So I just took a test shot before. So that's off. So I'm just firing the 3600 now, and it's on full power. The camera settings are... F14, 125th of a second, ISO 200. Um, I haven't changed the F-stop from the scene in the, the living room. Kept that the same. The only thing I had to really change is the shutter speed and the ISO. Now, this hasn't been metered. It's all just been done by eye from the back of the camera. And obviously, I'm just, I've just been looking at the shot that I took in the living room to try and recreate and get it as close as possible. So, I'll take this first shot and you'll see exactly what's going to happen. Now, you can see instantly there from that one light at the back that's city 600 that that's pretty much recreated that scene in the living room the only difference is is you'll notice the shadows are a lot sharper and that's because obviously there's when the lights come through the window it's a bit diffused also and obviously it's bouncing around the living room, so that's a bit diffused so what we can do is obviously i'll switch on the 300 pro that's not going to soften the shadows but it is going to give us a tiny tiny bit of fill you might not notice it on the video but it's going to give us a tiny bit of fill and that just looks that i'm really happy with the way that looks now 
recreating a natural window light scene that you just saw there that I've just took. It looks really good. So you can see there that we've recreated that scene in that living room quite easily. That's just two lights. You could probably get away with just using this one light and use, like I say, using a reflector card. I think it's a lot easier than what a lot of people think. You've just got to really look at the elements that surrounding outside, look at the natural environment, what, what's bouncing where, what's diffusing the light. Um, it's just a really good exercise and one that I would urge everybody to give a go because before you know it, you'll have an amazing amount of skills at hand by just doing this simple exercise. Um, so I'd highly recommend you guys go out and give it a go. If you want to check out any of the gear, links will all be in the description below. I think I will do more videos like this using a natural light scene and recreating it in the studio because I think it'll help more people kind of connect more to how a scene works and how the lights work within the scene. I think that's going to be a really good way of actually doing it. So if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you've liked it, Give it a thumbs up and even flick the notification bell so you can see when more videos like this are posted. So with that being said, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you then.